Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum to anyone who may be listening to this short video and hello as well to anyone who may be listening in. Uh, I'm going to be uh, talking a little bit about this book that I have brought out a couple of months ago. Um, this is Shi'i Spirituality for the 21st Century and it consists of about 20 lectures that I've given over the last 10 years as well as a couple of articles that have already been published in academic journals. Over the last uh, 10 or so years I have been lecturing quite widely in different communities um, United States, Canada, UK um, and also in Iran and Iraq. Um, what I'm noticing is that issues that used to pertain just to Muslims living in the West uh, are now relevant to Muslims on a global level. Uh, you can go to Iran, you can go to Pakistan, India, Middle East. Everybody nowadays is living under the same kind of um, regime, we could say. The same kind of culture is being promoted through uh, media. And the same kind of mentality, this is the important point, the same kind of mentality is being cultivated um, across the world. I remember 20 years ago noticing this. Um, I used to kind of coin the term modernization is homogenization, and uh, which I might have mentioned uh, in previous talks. But this is the irony of the age that we're living in now, where we are supposed to have perhaps more freedoms than we did in the past but ironically um, we're becoming kind of narrower in our thinking and narrower in our culture and uh, our different levels of thinking and different levels of consciousness um, so this is addressed to not just Muslim communities across the world, but uh, and not just Shi communities, but also to non-Muslims as well. A few converts uh, to Islam have already contacted me about this, and they have uh, read it. Um, and uh, I have arranged the lectures in a certain order, beginning with the general discussion on the relevance of Islam in the modern world, uh, and contextualizing um, the situation that we find ourselves in today as people who are trying to follow the prophetic path. I think that uh, we don't realize the extent to which um, our brains have been hooked up to the matrix, so to speak. Um, we're not really aware of how our thinking is being very powerfully shaped uh, by various um, atheistic forces and and so we kind of unconsciously inculcate a lot of ideologies uh, and even a lot of emotions ways of seeing the world we unconsciously inculcate that um, due to intense psychological pressure like I said through different forms of media uh, so I have been asked in a previous interview about this uh, book you know what are my recommendations for drawing closer to the divine, for drawing closer to Allah, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, um, and I responded by saying that, first of all, we need to understand what it is we're up against, or we need to understand the context that we're living in, if we are going to gain a greater understanding of what the divine is. So um, this is not just a book about recommendations of certain practices that you need to engage in. Um, I'm someone who's all about thinking, I'm all, all about thought, um, and I think that we definitely need a philosophical and intellectual response to modernity and postmodernity. We need to understand modernity and postmodernity better. We need to understand the forces that are shaping us as human beings before we then come up with a program of how we are going to draw closer to the divine. Otherwise, we're basically going to be um, people with a secular mentality, a secular way of life, uh, hooked up to uh, a secular matrix, embedded within 
a secular economic system and serving that system and promoting that system, the very system which is actually ironically undermining um, an Islamic system. We're just going to be people who are serving this kind of uh, matrix or system uh, while at the same time engaging in certain pious acts like fasting and um, and dhikr and so on. So inshallah I'm going to be giving a few talks about this book again on this channel. Um, the first one that I will address is going to be transforming our way of being, transforming our way of being because um, when I moved away from the Western zone um, into uh, a Muslim majority zone 25 years ago um, and ever since then, I particularly noticed how Islam fa facilitates a certain mode of being or a certain way of being. And uh, it's very, very difficult to implement this mode of being um, and way of being and to cultivate it in the kind of society that we live in today. Um, you know, it's not just about us campaigning for rights to pray at work and so on and so forth. It's about how we are orientated or oriented as human beings, fundamentally right down to our core. It's about the foundations upon which um, our way of being is established we have to get to the root of what those foundations are uh, before we then come up with a program of how we are going to negotiate this ever spreading net of influence that is you know drawing more and more people into it so uh, if you would like to order this book the links are down below this video but inshallah i will be giving a few little short talks based upon this book that again comes out of 20 years of thinking, um, 20 years of living and observing. So I uh, hope you enjoy this short video and inshallah I'll be uploading more in the future. Asalaamu Alaikum.